Today I'm going to show you how to play GHTV related mod on RPCX3 or the PlayStation 3 emulator. So there's a few ways you can actually get into it but this is the easiest way that we've made up and it's really easy. So if you haven't heard we have a mod tools for the whole project at all for Guitar Hero Live and it has a built in installer for the RPCX version so if you're playing from scratch or you're brand new to the whole thing you can basically download this tool and basically it'll tell you, tell you how to set it up and all that. So there's a link in the description or if you want to look it's up here. It's basically a GitHub page to the mod tools. It has some other cool features but it's got a really cool auto installer. It makes sure the game's up to date. It has support for the TV edition as well and US and power region as well depending if you have a physical copy that's dumped. It's got a few other things like highway changes, like hyperspeed, uh, the custom highway particles, gem maker which is our texture pack system for custom gems, uh, community patches which are community made patches, an easy way to install them instead of drag and drop files, this kind of does it really easily. And it's got a bunch of other stuff as well, which is great. So when you're on this GitHub page, you want to go down to the build to download all the releases. So you go to it, download the latest version as of this recording, the latest is 1.3.1, .1. whatever version it is, always download the latest and it supports all platforms. So Linux, Mac, Windows. So download the one that's for your platform. For me, I'm running Windows 11. So I'm gonna download the Windows version and it will take its time. Download, so once it's done, I'm gonna drag it to the desktop and then I'll go and extract it. It's just finished downloading. So I'm just gonna open this up anymore on the off screen so here it is here let's go direct to the desktop you can put it wherever you want uh, which is great so I'm dragging it here great so we can go open it up so direct this folder here and we're basically gonna go and open it up might be on my other screen I'll bring it over yeah it's on my other screen so we've got this really nice window um, if you're wondering it's made in unity so it's just fun Let's go to open up and you'll be greeted with this. So this is the setup process of how to get the mod. So I'm going to full screen this so you can see it better. So it tells you a bit about the mod tools and how to play GH Reloaded. So we're going to click get started. It's going to ask us since it's your first time running the tool, we need to know if you played it. So if you played a previous version of it or the beta or whatever, you can always click yes. But if you're first time setting it up, like what we're doing right here, we're going to click no. Uh, do we have RPCX? So you know we don't. Let's go download it. So we can click here. It will just open up our web browser to RPCX. So you can go download the latest version. For me, I already have it pre-downloaded, so I'm just going to do it. So once it's downloaded, you open it up. RPCX will ask you to get the latest PS3 firmware, which you can just simply do Google search RPS3 update. Um, and you can go to here and you just download it and tell RPCX3 to download it, uh, to install it. So that's there if you you need it for rpcx3 so it's done we need to look at the files so it's going to do that so for me i've left it on the desktop it'll be this folder select it it will also correct you if you've done it wrong um so don't worry if you select it or wrong folder it now it's going to ask us if we want to download the tv edition so if you don't have a physical copy dumped um and you just want to play GHTV, um, this is a really cool version that only supports GHTV. If you want to play live, you need to find a physical copy of the game or a source of the copy of the game for RPC X3. So we're going to download the TV edition just for now. Um, this will take a while because it's like almost a gigabyte file. So just be in mind, depending how fast your internet connection is, um, it may take some time, but I'll be back when this is finished downloading. So it's almost about done and it'll also auto install it as well for us which is really nice so it's just finishing up now it's just prepping to auto install so if it freezes that's fine just let it do its thing uh hey it's finished downloading cool so now it's installing it this does take time but this also installs a trpcx3 folder so it's all bundled in where your RPCX3 is, which is great. So once we open up RPCX3, uh, it will be there. And then we just need to go and set up RPCN and all that, which the tool will tell us to do. But if you have a physical copy of the game, um, it will ask you to update the game. or we'll download the update for you. You just need to drag it to RPCX3 to tell it to update it, which is great. Cool, now it's gonna ask us to config. So let's go and do that. So. 
We're going to open up RP6 Zoom. I'm going to close this down. Close this down. So for us, for our RPCX3, we need to open it up. So open up. See, there we go. TV editions now here. So what's going to configure it? So depending what you're using, uh, let's go. Yep. Yeah, let's just replace that. Um, so depending what you're using, I recommend using Vulkan. OpenGL has issues. Uh, make sure your frame rate's on the 600 or you'll have some issues with on demand. Um, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but the important thing for us is we want to go to IO and where it says emulate guitar here, a live controller, you want to turn that on. If you're using two controllers, you can do two, you can do one. We need that or the game won't work. Then we need to go to network. We need to tell to be connected and we want to go and use RPCN fly and what we can do is while we're here we can go to emulation on oh no, a config rpcn and make your rpcn account uh, which will be here you go just add follow the instructions and if you want to know if you're connected you can test it you'll get a little notification saying hey you're logged in yay or you can go to your friends list and see if it's working um because you do need an rpcn account and the tool will tell you but that's just a little tidbit so we've configured it uh, we can even go to our gamepad as well and configure it as well so we're currently on keyboard i might turn on my guitar if you're using a guitar you might do x import if you're doing another source of input you might do, do m joystick or if you use a keyboard use keyboard so i'm going to set for x import so we've got all that done let's see what the mod tools is telling us to do so we configured it it even shows you a little bit of what you need to do which is nice if you're lost you've always got this little video for reference so we click done it's going to make ask us if we've done it double check hit yes now it's going to tell us to make our rpcn account which i just explained but for sake i'll do it again so we go to config rpcn account add or yeah create an account actually and then follow the instructions when it's all done you'll see it's logged in here and the tool will also check if you've got uh, got an rpcn account too um which is valid so it's, it's even telling you how to do it so we're done hey look it even found our username too so it's gonna ask us to make an account now for ghtv related which is going to ask us to go to the discord uh the discord links will be in the description but all what it's basically doing is it's going to go to the discord and you want to go to registrations and you want to go and basically select what you want there's two different ones so the original experience or unlock all the stuff so you don't have to level up we just have everything unlocked at level one so for me we can go original it's going to automatically copy to the clipboard so all you really need to do is literally go in here right click or control v paste and hit enter and you'll get given a file download that file from the bot um, if you don't have your dms open you might want to do that but definitely do that you'll get a message from this guy i won't show you it because it will show some private stuff that only you need to see but you'll get a dm from this bot and then we'll basically go here we'll click done it's going to ask us for that xml file which is great because it's going to copy it for us so for me i've actually left it in here i click here hit open and now it's going to install the mod so regardless what version you have this is pretty much the same so it's going to grab the latest version it's going to download it preparing to install hey it's done we're ready to rock since we're on windows this is a really cool thing so if you have a controller and you don't know how to set it up this will tell you how to set up so for us yeah we'll go set it up it's going to ask us what controller do we have so you may want to look at your physical guitar so for me right now i have my ios guitar in hand it's the only one i have nearby i do have a three console guitar so you can do that but if you have a console one just follow the instructions here uh, for ios i'm just going to do that for now it's going to ask us to follow the link so we'll go open it up it's going to take us to a resource to download for our a uh, certain guitar so for this one this was for ps3 wii u and ios there's a release download follow the instructions here and you'll find it so you'll just go to resources or release assets and you'll just download the version here and just follow the the instructions here and then for like for me i have it open so for me, if I'm on my iOS guitar PS3, I just open the software up, connect it, it's hooked up. 
And if I want to get rid of it, uh, there we go. So I've got one guitar connected. So it's all good. Hit done. And then we're ready to rock. So we can click that and we basically can play, play it now. If you want to use the mod tools, you can. I'll highlight them in another video. But for now, we can go to here, boot up the game, and it's going to basically connect us to GHD Reloaded and you can go have fun. This will take a while for it to do its thing since it's um first time installing it. You might need to take a while to, for it to be, build caches. So depending on your system requirements, it may take a little bit longer or maybe really quickly. Depends on your rig. For me, I've got a pretty powerful rig, so it went very quickly. And if you want to tweak settings and all that, you can. So when we're in the menu, we can just hit one. And then if you know you've got the mod installed, you'll see the message of the day here. It will be very different. Um, since we got the TV version, we can't really play with single player, but we can go to TV and it should connect us to the servers. Doesn't matter what version, we're basically in right now. So you can explore, you can go to premiums. See, so there's some new premiums, which is cool. Um, I go to player cards, multiplayer, you can do all sorts of cool stuff. Really cool things, but enjoy playing it. Have fun.